Hello, it's Fiona here. Um, I'm uh, going to be talking today about how to make some little mini indoor landscapes. So these are some that I made earlier, <laughs> which I think are really quite cute. So um, I will just need to find out how to change the screen around and that's an interesting bear with me slight technical hitch here oh here we go right good so hello <laughs> that was a slight technical hitch okay so for these really fun things i'm just going to put this onto the um tripod now so bear with me this is all new technology uh great Oop. <laughs> <laughs> right here we go again oh. Oh, okay right good um now you should be able to see yes marvelous right we have a result so <laughs> sorry about that okay so for these you need a few things so you need some kind of container so a glass jar of some sort um, or this is quite nice this is some sort of supermarket uh, plastic thing which has been used in the past so that would work really well or even uh, the bottom of a drink container that you just cut in half and that way you could have a little lid on it if you needed to so there's all sorts of things you can use um, I happen to have a collection of mad uh, jelly holders vintage so I'm going to use this because it will match the other one that I made um, okay so you then need some stones um, now for a lot of these things obviously if you haven't got a garden you're kind of thinking oh how am I gonna do this or if you don't have access to kind of gardening equipment all of these bits and pieces you can be get collecting on your daily walk. You know, there's ran there's stones all over the place. So, you know, don't don't worry about that. Um, it's a great activity for children because you can make collecting the stuff part of the daily work work activity. So, on top of the stones, you need some more fine gravel or grit. Now. The reason you do this is obviously it's a sealed container, so you need some drainage. Um, again, if you haven't got it, well, not to worry too much, but tr then try and get lots of finer stones. Um, the do uh, instructions recommend charcoal. Now, the charcoal apparently helps to keep the um, it from going different moulds and stuff in that. They actually say activated charcoal, um, but nobody can really get hold of that in this time. So a bit of uh, normal charcoal, as long as it doesn't have the um, the kind of uh, super fast light lighting type charcoal, because obviously that's got funny chemicals in which you really don't want. And if you can't get hold of charcoal, don't worry about it. Okay, so we've got stones in there, we've got some grit, or you could just get smaller pebbles. Um, now I'm going to put some soil in. Okay, now for this, I'm going to make some kind of like fairyland blade effect. And at this stage, you could, you're probably thinking, well, where am I supposed to get hold of all these different plants? Um, it's amazing what you can find out and about when you go for your walk. Um, now, I found these chunks of moss just like alongside my wall um, and under a tree. So there you go, you've got this fabulous chunk of moss which is actually perfect for your woodland glade effect. Okay, so as you see, I've put some soil in there and I've mixed it with a little bit of sand. Um, I've got something here. Where's he gone now? 
This is called Herb Robert and it's basically classified as a weed, although it's not. And this grows everywhere and it's got this tiny little pink flower. Isn't it beautiful? So again, this is really lovely for your woodland glade effect. So I'm just putting that in some soil. Good old hen and chicken. I've just taken that off. Look how sweet that looks in there. So, there we go. Stick that in. Okay. And this is called um, an Arigritian. Anyway, it's a daisy. Now, this is normally grows in people's lawns, and people like spend vast amounts of money trying to eradicate it. But how cute is that? So that is definitely going in there, all right? And it looks like some kind of vast, oversized trophy. Now, the joy of making these mini landscapes is that everyone can have a piece of just green indoors. And this is, is sort of like a little fairy landscape, I think. So, I mean, it's just lovely. Really, really sweet. Um, what else have I got here? Okay, these are house leeks. Now, you can get them everywhere. They're growing in, in walls and things like that. And they just you just pull off the little babies. So they're really sweet to have in. Um, so I'm going to put two of those in. Um, and what else can I put in? Now this is an alpine plant. So alpines are by their very nature inclined to be small and to grow in amongst crevices. I mean this is part of something in my garden. But they're really, really good for this kind of thing. Um, so I'm going to put that in as well. That looks absolutely gorgeous. So that's my little fairy landscape. Now, when you're doing these miniatures, it's about the scale as well. So you've got to think mini. So if you sort of mooch around and you have a look, and suddenly any you see all sorts of things that could be suitable, which is really quite joyous. <laughs> okay, so then you can go and have a look for other bits and pieces that you can find. Like I found this lovely piece of twig with some sort of um, moss and lichen growing on it, which is lovely because there it looks like a huge, great big log. Um, because it's a fairy garden, if you had a little model of a fairy or something, as you see in my seascape, I came across this, um, amazing lighthouse thing, which I think fits in there really quite well. So you can have a look around and about and put all sorts of weird and wonderful things in. I had this, which is some hand blown glass, um, I've had it for years, it's sort of broken, um, fortunately, but it's quite bonkers. And it looks interesting, so I could put that in there. I'm just going to put some more gravel in between everything. I'm lucky to have, this is called horticultural grit, actually. So, if you can't get it, you can put some sand around or... Or, or even more moss if you're lucky enough to be able to find loads of it. I did find some more, so I've got a few more small chunks. This I found on the pavement. <laughs> so it's amazing once you start looking. It's a little bit messy now, and my fingers are dirty. But I think that looks very sweet. Just a little bit more gravel around, I think. So that's like a little fairy. Plants are a little bit grubby at the moment. 
Um, I mean, I've, you, if you start looking around at home, you can find all sorts of weird and wonderful things. I've got a little elephant there. It's all about trying to keep it to scale so it doesn't look too weird and wonderful. But it's just a bit of fun as well. You know, what's that? A pine cone, possibly? Maybe not. Um, of interesting looking rocks there maybe no. because I want this to be a fairy type garden I've got this little bit of crystal quartz no maybe not I've got this tiny little pottery house which is really sweet so that could maybe go in there as a little fairy house. I like that. See, look, a little fairy house there under the giant flowers. And this strange giant mushroom. So I think that's finished. You see, it's quick and easy. The joy is, is on, on it is trying to have a look and see what you can get. This is a um, jade plant that I thought could be a tree. These are the, you know, I took some cuttings last week, so that could work. The only thing I would warn you is the limit is your imagination and what you can find, but it can become quite addictive. <laughs> um, this one I made is a little sort of zen garden. So that's just really got that lovely mold, mound of, of moss, some rocks and a few house leeks. And that's just in a, a jar. So you don't need anything fancy. Um, it's just really fun and really joyous. Um, and the only limit is what you can find and what your imagination is. So good luck finding some bits and pieces for it. As I say, on your daily walk, you can um, get out there and see what you can find and see what you can make. I'm feeling very inspired now. So I'm going to try something else in this because I've got this really, this sweet little broken pot. So, let's see what I can make with that, because I can, so, more rocks in there, quite a lot of grits, some more going to do is I'm going to use this um, oh, it's got some extra soil in as a little landscape and, um, new broken pot Let's see what I'm doing there maybe other type of succulent as well so we could put um, some house leek this succulent and that succulent with some soil and that good Leak. 
escaped. Okay, so something like that. Then a bit more succulent there. Some more moss. of gravel looks a bit like a Derek Jarman kind of garden which is um let's see a bit of um driftwood there and some stones yes I like that a lot Marvellous, good. A little bit of water, and I think I should try and find one more stone as a bit of a boulder. There we are. Yes, I'm very happy with that. Good. So, as you see, there's endless ideas. I warn you it's quite addictive this is the fourth one I've made and I could quite happily do this the whole afternoon <laughs> and it just gives you something really nice to look at while you're stuck indoors so lovely thanks guys and uh, I'll see you stay well have a lovely weekend and see you again next week cheerio bye